Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Black Screen. Except no, it's actually Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Oh man, I'm actually pretty excited for this. It's a pretty good game. Hi. What are you doing, kid? Dude, dude, let me, let me talk to... I'll do it then. I'm too close to the tree. There. Whoa, it's a stag beetle. Also, some money. I'm amazed it didn't tell me, hey, you got a blue rupee. Because usually it does that when you start over again. Also, it went away. You need a bug net to catch it. Why did you throw out your bug net? Uh, you can buy bug nets at Beetle's shop. If I can see Beetle's shop, I would show it to you. But I can't see it right now. Maybe it's not even here, actually. But you just gotta come... Uh, down here, some NPCs tell you to eventually. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain. What with all that scratching and picking? Of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not gonna have that pen in time soon, boys. Oh my gosh, he just cracked his neck. Well, Link, so, uh, yeah, how long you been standing there? <laughs> What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're, they're, they're pleading no groups. Can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, sorry, pal. Grish doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart you might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused with all the clouds and just got lost? Nice hair. You lay off my dew right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the sickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of you, how you never let anyone forget about you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up and straighten up and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. Honored? That's not a word. Just who might you be talking about, Groose? Hey. Oh. Zelda, hey, no, it's, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on the again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy like all of us. Why do you insist on pulling him around so much? Yeah, uh, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Uh, I suppose you... Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what's what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, I wasn't supposed to anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out on today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood, so find that bird and get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Apparently, they all whistle with, like, the exact same sound. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect those blockheads have something to do with your lock wings disappearance. <laughs> Link, these guys aren't gonna help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. Okay, now she's gonna start flying around with her bird and look for my bird, and then she's gonna tell me where we're to go, and then we're gonna save my bird and it'll be happy. I just pressed the home button. Alright, father said he'd talk to Horwell about delaying the ceremony. <laughs> They're Imperials, they kinda run the ceremony, they should have the power to do that. Also, sorry about that Groose voice, I tried to make it, like, as annoying as possible. Because that's kind of, like, what Groose is, but at the same time, Groose is awesome! <laughs> he is, like, hilarious and amazing. There's a statue right there. I'm not sure if I said this, actually, but, uh, where's the beetle ship? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I said this, actually, but most of the, uh... Oh, jeez. Sorry. Most of the, uh... 
bird statues that, uh, um, jeez. Most of the bird statues that you can save at, after a certain point, you can warp to them. Um, but I think to make it so they're active, you have to, like, uh, save at them, or at least check them. Also, uh, Pippet has seen Fledge. Uh, Pippet is the yellow guy. You could actually have talked to, uh, Fledge earlier and he would have done something. And told you to go, go look for Cruz. Oh, he was looking for me. Heard your lock wing gone missing, so I joined in the search. Get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Yeah, he would have started acting weird. I'm sorry. Wanted to tell you, but Gruce, like, bullied me. Forced him to keep quiet about it. Isn't that, like, harassment? Alright, tell him the truth. Gruce won't hurt you anymore. Alright, a little while ago, I was cleaning the dining hall, and Gruce and his buddies came in, and they didn't know I was there, and they talked about their plan to kidnap your loft wing. And then I wanted to warn you, but as I tried to sneak away, they grabbed me, and they attacked me. <laughs> yeah, never able to ride a bird again. What even would you do? <laughs> To make that possible. Uh, next to a waterfall. Well, I guess I do need to go over there before I get to the sword. Oh, crap. I know how to read the map. I want, I want to know if I can get the sword now. If I can't, I might end up, like, speeding this part up. Also, I made a practice file. Or not a practice file, but, um... A file so where if something goes wrong, I can just re-record on that file. Uh, back here, there's a sword. Uh, th also, the chests in this game look awesome. Well, maybe not awesome, but, like, really nice. That's it. Uh, but here's the sword. It's a practice sword. Apparently, it's really sharp, actually. It's not like a wooden sword, like in Twilight Princess. This is a straight-up sword. So, I grabbed this sword on accident. If you talk to this guy before you have the sword, he's just gonna tell you to go get it from the back. Um, sure, no. Alright, I'm good with the sword. Practice is everything. You basically have to do this anyways. Um, I hope I do decent at this, because if you recall... Uh, in Twilight Princess, I actually hit the camera with the wrist strap. And... So I might end up doing that multiple times. Through. There we go. Holy crap. I want to... I want to do a jump attack. No. This is a sword for a shield bashing. But we can't even, like, really do shield bashing, because we don't even have a shield! Oh, this one's stabbing. Stabbing in this game is really weird, because you have to, like, poke it forward. Unlike in Twilight Princess, where you could just run forward and then attack, and it would be a stab. Because that, that made it easy, actually. <laughs> it's funny, because I played Skyward Sword before I played Twilight Princess. And it was actually kind of hard. To uh, do a spin attack in this game. But to do a spin attack, just move both the Wiimote and Nunchuck. You know? And it felt good. Ooh, Fatal Blow. I like the Fatal Blow. <laughs> Except, uh... <laughs> I don't know, in Twilight Princess, I think it was actually called the, uh... The Finishing Blow or something like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me do that. Thank you. You have, you have to, like, go forward with the Wiimote. To do that, you can't just like press A. Like in Twilight Princess, you could just press A, and that made it easy. Yeah, shield this, sh sheath the sword. Uh, if you try to leave with the sword at this point, you know, you're gonna tell him it's like, dude, someone stole my loft wing. Oh, you wanna go look for it? Well, you know, okay, take the sword out. It's a peaceful place. Don't go killing anybody. Uh, get pretty... So, he basically says, Hey, don't go crazy. Seriously, we're not even at ten minutes yet. Whoa! That is... <laughs> insane. I'm gonna go farther than NCS did, but then again... 
I just skip to the meat and potatoes. I don't, like, go talking to the NPCs unless I have to. Also, that's a Sheikah stone. It's kind of weird in this game. I have to go all the way- never mind. Okay, this is the Sheikah stone, and it says hi. Oh. Oh, yeah, this- This is kind of like in, uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. It'll tell you, like, where to go if you get lost, or how to beat a puzzle if you can't figure it out. That basically made the water temple possible in that game, actually. <laughs> so, that's cool. Um, but now we have, that's not the... I don't even, like, have a wallet. How many rupees can I hold? I have to go over there. Okay. Uh, there are certain parts of Skyloft that are pretty important, actually. And you won't want to forget them. Uh, like, there's a big building in the middle of town. It's called the Bazaar. Uh, Bazaars are basically... Um... Yeah. Why is this box here? I have an idea of why it could be here, but that's, like, so much later in the game, it's ridiculous. Uh, anyways, Bazaars are basically, like, a whole bunch of shops. All in one area. That's a cat up there, I think. That ear cat. Up there is, a uh, something. Don't have to worry about that, though. Oh, you don't have to run to do a jump. Uh, I think you do f go farther, though. Uh, this statue only has one eye. Oh, uh, this thing, it's been here, like, for forever, and it only has one eye. This statue is actually pretty important, but you literally don't do anything with it till, like, almost the last part of the game. So, don't worry about that for now. <laughs> but, uh, if you go up here, this weird, like, cave thing, it's a cave. And I think I was supposed to hear the Loftwing do a, like, a cry. But it didn't, like, do a cry, though. And that was actually kind of tough to get into <laughs> for a second. This place is the Waterfall Cave. Plus brings up your map, not anything else. Um, we're gonna be coming back to this cave later in a in a in a little while. Uh, after a little bit, uh, but we won't do that probably till like 10, 15 parts in. Yeah, get off of me, chew. I'm gonna kill all these enemies because these enemies have drops. I kinda hate how- I kinda don't like how they, uh, actually did the spin attack in this game. I liked how they did it in, in uh, Twilight Princess where you only had to do one thing. But, uh, but you know, if they made it so it actually worked. Uh, like this, where if you- if it actually read the nunchuck movement, you know, better, then, yeah, it would be awesome. I don't have the jump attack. What the heck? That's weird. That's, that's really weird. I have totally forgotten why I don't have the jump attack. Are these things taking multiple hits, or are there just a lot of these things? I guess it's not that good of a sword, then. Alright, it's still decent, but it's not as good as I thought it was. That's it. Yeah, when you run out of stamina, this happens. And I gotta say, it really sucks when this happens. Uh, but there's this thing. This was in Twilight Princess as well. Not that specific area, but you could go down in tunnels like that. It's in the Wind Waker as well. In easy 40 rupees. Why not pick it up? Like, seriously, I can't think of a reason why you should not pick that up. It, it's right there. It takes like two seconds to grab. And... It's like 50 free rupees, man. Also Zelda. Hi, Zelda. 
she found me. Hey, I was hoping I'd find you here. You know, I heard, I, I searched around, and they said something about waterfalls. And if we look to the right, we'll find something. Look to the right. What is that noise? Who's that? Who's calling me? For me. I got distracted. What was that even? Because, like, that's not... I thought someone was, like, calling for Zelda. It was just, like, a chime. That wasn't even, like, the loft wing noise. Also, that's my loft wing right there. Don't worry, my bird. I'm gonna set you free. There! Oh, I have to attack while I jump. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Apparently red Lothlings are, like, rare, which I don't get. But it's really happy. So happy we found the bird. The Loftwing. Why, why do they say Loftwing and then they say bird? Choose, pick one or the other, gang. Goodness. I'm amazed they haven't broken the wire to this nunchuck. I've been sitting on it. And it still works. Also, I'm just talking over this awesome music. And we should hurry because we freed the Loftwing and we can go do the ceremony. I'm so excited. I gotta ask you something. I heard a chime, not a voice. <gasps> What's that thing over there? What's that thing over there? I wanna go over there. Someone's calling you. Have I wondered what's beneath the clouds? What, are you like Marion Marion wondering what it's like beyond the sea? Um, th well, Zelda? Well, there's something down there, but I can't really talk about it right now, because spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, but really, you know, uh, if you've played a Zelda game, you should at least have an idea of what there's gonna be. You know. Also, this part, you remember when Zelda uh, pushed us off the side of the ledge? We have to do that as well, except here our bird's actually gonna come get us. Also, Zelda pushes us off a ledge again. That's pretty cool. I'm pressing down right now, nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? Dude. Do we. Oh yeah, when you jump off a ledge, you can tilt the Wiimote, and, uh, you'll, like, start flying in a direct- if in, like, a different direction. Also, this is Loftwing training. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I have a feeling I'm not gonna be doing very good at this. Like, in Wind Waker? Um, you know, through the Great Sea, really? You could just- like, set yourself in a direction, you could just, uh, you could, uh, just, like, set yourself on a course, and, uh, you can just leave it there for a little while. You could also do that in Phantom Hourglass, technically. There's the basic controls. Also, B apparently slows down, which is really nice for, uh, press B, you press A and he'll do that. Apparently we got really far away from Skyloft. Here, you know, uh, about what I was saying earlier, you have to be, you have to hold your arm for, like, however long until you get to where you want to go. In one position. So, like, you'll have to hold your arm straight. And that kind of sucks. Because it starts to hurt your arm after a while. Usually I play this standing up. And, uh... uh I, I'm amazed how I do that, because I end up, like, dancing around. And now I'm just sitting on my knee. Hi, Groose. I forgot your voice already. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Uh, that's probably a different voice. Went around the plaza and you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. 
All the precious warm up, pre race warm ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. Stiff. We've been waiting for forever for this race to start, and then they delayed for you. I don't get it. The big flake gets something special treatment. You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to get anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed this mug looks. Oh, Zelda, you and I are best friends. We go everywhere together, huh? You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to with Zelda. He's really got it. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about his heel. About her. Oh my gosh. Durr. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard that she made it herself, man, there was no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yeah, I can see you now. First time we win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me as old from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Goose, goose, behind you, right behind you. What? Can't you see? I'm in the middle of... Oh, hi Zelda. Oh, hi Zelda. Can't explain what you meant by your special moment, alone? Uh, nothing big really, just... Link, yeah, I was telling my buddy how glad I was that he found his real bird of his. And I'm looking forward to a fair race. And he later Zelda, look for me during the race, so I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. How do you pull off a dangerous move, racing to capture a statue? Actually, it's not a statue, it's a bird. Hey, Groose, wait up. Did you hear that guy a fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are about less than ze about About less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there, do the best you can. I know you got those guys beaten deep down, I think you can do it too. Yeah. That's the spirit, you can win it. Oh, the wing ceremony is now going to begin. I'm not going to end it here because I'm not good with cuts. Oh man, that shot reminds me of Wind Waker. Except the birds don't remind me of Wind Waker. Apparently they have like bird acrobatics. They have like that colored smoke. Apparently. It, it's like they're birds. I didn't know birds could make colored smoke like inside of their bodies. Even though they can't. Also, that's what we're looking for. The, the chocobo. Right there. We gotta get the chocobo. Okay, so we did it. And Link's here. And we found his bird. And now we're gonna do it. If he didn't find his bird, we probably weren't gonna do it. And then I put a statue on this chocobo. And you gotta dash out off of the land. And you gotta slam into the chocobo to get the statue. Uh, whoever gets it with A is the winner. I don't want to hear them again. Good. I don't want to. Do I didn't want to explain it either. <laughs> Great. Also, you need his gift from the goddess. I mean Zelda. Today is a special day because it's the twenty-fifth anniversary of our fine institution. Oh man, <laughs> it's like a reference to to, to the twenty-fifth Zelda anniversary thing. Also, we're gonna be up up on the get up on the thing, and you guys know what's happening. I'm just like blundering right now. Did Zelda say that, or did she just like chuckle? Did because that that's kind of egotistical. If Zelda said that, she's all like the amazing Zelda. Like if Zelda said that, that would be egotistical. But if someone said something else, then that wouldn't be egotistical. And then this guy just goes after Groose. Alright, let's go get the Chocobo. We're gonna play Final Fantasy IV. Also, why is it just me and Groose and his cronies? Because, like, it, it's just Groose and his cronies and me. What about the other guys? Or are we just, like, the lower classmen? Because, like, if that's it, if we're just the lower classmen, then that sucks.
And I am so totally not doing this right even because the Wiimote is broken. I don't want to recalibrate this. <laughs> I thought I was going to do better at this because after a session of this game, actually, I thought I would do better. And apparently not. And seriously, I think I might end up being here for like ever. And I might actually want to recalibrate the Wiimote. Oh, no! You were so close! Link! You got this! You got this! You got this, Link! Yeah, there you go. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? I forgot Bruce's voice. And then he, like, runs into me. Yeah, you can, let's hear you fly with egg on, egg on your face. What did he just throw? What did he just throw? Was that like a carton egg, or was that like, was that like a, a loft wing egg? That looked huge, or maybe that was like the rest of his body. They're throwing something at me, they're like Octorox. Also, you don't need to dash into the bird, you just need to touch it. Now that I notice. Because I didn't really dash into the bird earlier. Ow. Dude, dude, that wasn't nice. No, it was there! No! Mm. I always have trouble with this! Every time I play this game, I have trouble with this part. Holy crap, it's all the way over there. Chocobo, come back! I love you! Ow, he got me. Chocobo, come back! Chocobo! 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 I love you! Those are like soccer balls! What even are those? What the heck? You said those that was an egg? What birthed that egg? <laughs> that That's like the size of a soccer ball! If not like bigger, because it looks like it was the size of the Loftwing's body. About the size of the Loftwing's body. Guess throwing the egg at the bird. Other way, Link! I swear, they programmed the rest of the Loftwing usage different than this part because I don't really have trouble with the rest of the Loftwing parts. And I missed. I missed. Dude, I freaking missed. Do I freaking missed. I'm gonna put in like a sound clip of that. I don't even know. I'm probably not going to because I'm gonna end up like forgetting and I'm gonna end up trying to do something while I'm editing. Or while this uploads. And we're at almost half an hour. I might even speed this part up. Like I said that I'd speed the sword part up. I don't know. That part's pretty not important, actually. But, no, nah, why not? Why? Get the bird! Yeah, I got it! And then he, it's just there. And I think he's actually just being at the same spot, and look at what happens when I have this. I did it! Technically, can't someone steal it from me? Or is it not like that? Is it just whoever gets it first? Because, like, if that's it, then... You know, then, then I won. Also, Zelda, you know, she kind of just plopped down in front of me on my bird. And the bird went down when that happened. That that would seem like... Like, wouldn't I get hurt from that? Wouldn't the bird get hurt from that? that? That sounds like it would probably hurt because, like, momentum and stuff. Also, we're on the statue now. Hand me this statue at... Gotta give it to the goddess. This statue is the goddess. And I seriously forgot this thing was here because you do end up on the top of the goddess statue at a later point in the game, and I don't think you see that there. You're gonna play a lovely tune. Oh, it's the Ballad of the Goddess. And there are just two birds up there, like red and blue. Red is like the girl Pokemon, and blue is like the boy Pokemon. Are they gonna start breeding? So does that mean me and Zelda are gonna start breeding? Actually, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure Gabora might not like that. Or Raru might not like that. 
Um, um am I like proposing to Zelda? Actually, no. You, yeah, I'm. I'm like proposing to Zelda right now. Why am I like proposing to Zelda right now? Um, Zelda, what are you doing? What do you like untie? Because it's just around your neck. You just have to take it off. It looked like you were untying something. That's, um... Also, we got a sailcloth. Now you can do this, and then just press B. It smells nice, too. That part's funny. And then also, I guess Link actually does do that, like, in the games. Just like when he gets an item, he just stops. Everything stops, and he lifts it above his head. That music plays, and it tells you what you get. And all the enemies are weirded out because it's like, Oh man, this again. Oh, don't worry, I'll, make, I'll take good care of it. Like, if it rips, like, I don't know, I'll stitch it up. Because I'm going to be using it for the rest of the game. Alright, we should finish up the ritual. I like your elf ears. Uh, what happens at the end? Uh-oh. That means I do know. I do know what happens at the end. And that's why I said uh-oh, because... Because this part happens. Um... And do you remember when it said you're, you're you're safe from any height as long as you whip that out at the end? It's like doing a ground pound at the end of a jump in Mario 64. Uh, except here, you have to press a button. And apparently it says that, yeah, she pushes us off. That's not a jump, Zelda. That is, like, not even a jump. Also, we're supposed to land in the middle of the courtyard. Oh, it's not like in Kid Icarus, though, where you can just, like, aim the, uh... What? What? I'm supposed to be in the middle circle. What? No, I was gonna make it look all cool, because I don't think I've ever seen anyone, like, make that the first time. And I was gonna be all cool. No. And that wasn't any better. Seriously, I got this on the second try, like the second or third try when I did this the first time I played the game. I know that was like three years ago, but still. I, I played this game like the Christmas it came out because I got it for Christmas. Oops. That didn't work. And I am at over half an hour right now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to speed that bird part up. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, man. I know. It's ridiculous. Why do I have to land in the middle? Well, I'm gonna try to, like, line myself up. Oh my gosh. Link, just stop. Stop, Link. Oh, no! I do not want to talk to you, Zelda. I want to do a jump. I want to do a roll before I, I fall. Because if you do that in Donkey Kong Country, you can get some extra height, and I need to go backwards more. Does that count? Does it Does it not count? I did it! It only took like five tries. Why, why did you get to go down on your bird, man? You cheater. <laughs> I'm thinking that I should have stopped recording when I was at the Waterfall Cave, except I was only at like ten minutes... Here, I'm at, like, 30. I could have cut it, like, at the Wing Festival or something. Also, I won today. Oh, the weather, it, yeah, it's so nice. What? Oh, okay, I thought you were going to maybe say something else. See, when I was recording Thousand Year Door, I'd try to, like, stop it at... I, I could have cut it there. I could have pressed the home button. 
This is gonna be like a 40 minute video. It's gonna take like forever to upload. Also, she's like mouthing words right now. It was wonderful. Um, okay, is this like the awkward part of everyone's self when they try to like when they try to like link up? Oh man, link. <laughs> they try to like link up with like their girlfriend or something. Also, something just exploded. No, that's a tornado. I thought the sun exploded. <laughs> but then again, if the sun exploded, it would have been like worse than Majora's Mask. Because there it was kind of like slow. A slow death. There it would have been almost instantaneous. Because when the sun explodes, everything's kind of going to melt. And then you know, once everything melts, it's kind of gone. It's like my teacher, Miss Thomas, says back when they had the world war things and the nuclear power to blow up the world multiple times it's like um when we blow up the world once it's gonna be gone uh... so you can't really blow it up twice also this is a person oh hey it's that thing no it's an angel it's the archangel except no it's not it's fee oh, you're waiting for me i'm gonna awaken oh man i'm really important yeah, what? Zelda, can I go get you? Can I, can I get you? Oh. I got you, don't worry. No, no, what the, it's that thing. Extreme close-up. Now you can see it's like so shaded. The, the secret's out. Hey, you know when I came back and your daughter wasn't here? She kind of like died. I was limp. How did my bird make it out of there? But I was unconscious. Cause like that. That's um. I guess that means humans aren't very strong. Even though I'm pretty sure they are. Also, this guy's asking about his daughter. Where's my daughter? That that was my attempt at an impression of that scene that attacking Tukan says. In the Ocarina of Time verses, before Lord Jabu Jabu's Valley, a black tornado. What? Well, no, it technically wasn't an ordinary storm, especially because it reaches above the clouds, because they're formed in the clouds. But it could just have dirt in it. That's why it's like dark, though. So, also, it's pretty dark outside right now. <laughs> so, Ooh. Oh, you got, don't push yourself. You're recovering. Bullcrap. I'm done. Anything about her seem off? Well, she was gonna try and, like, ask the question about, hey, do you wanna be my girlfriend? Probably. But, like, aside from that, mm, I don't know. Oh, oh! I was gonna say that there was this, like, person that was, like, that she said someone was talking to her about. Um... That, that's kind of strange, but I don't know if that's what you mean. Well, if she gets sucked down a tornado, like, to the surface, um, you know, we couldn't really see her. Also, it says that you could, if you see a girl on her loft wing at night, it's actually kind of funny, I guess, or ironic, because... You can't get on your loft wing at night. You can do things at night. It, it doesn't, like, change automatically, like like in Skyrim or something. You have to get in bed to make a night. And you can't use your loft wing at night. Some people can, but, like, you can't. What? Oh, okay, I know what's happening. I know what's going on. Hey, is that Ru does that Rupee respawn? I want to see if he respawns. Does it respawn? It does! That's nice! Better drop it in your wallet. I dropped it, now I have 81. I had 86, now I have 81 because I dropped it. Also, I'm gonna, like, hide here. Never mind about the hiding. You know what, that's good enough. Next time we're gonna go outside. See you guys then. Goodbye!